Hello guys, in this video let's talk about route model binding and specifically why this open source project does not use route model binding in this update method and then the same below in the destroy method. So I will explain to you why route model binding isn't a good fit in this case and I will show you two ways how to deal with that situation the way how they dealt with that in the project and also alternative one. So as you can see in both destroy and update methods, we have two lines identical, the same code to get the link. So here's the same code outside of GitHub in a more colorful way where I will add my own suggestions of alternatives. So this is the original code of the project. So why don't they do link with route model binding? It's pretty obvious because you need to check the user current workspace and it is repeating in the same fashion twice in two methods. The question is, is it somehow possible to include that where statement inside of the route model binding with some conditions and still use route model binding? So I have checked the original docs of Laravel and haven't found specifically that feature. Two closest thing to that would be to customize the scope if you have that scope inside of the URL. So for example, it would be workspaces, then workspace as a parameter and then link, then that would be possible. Or another kind of similar behavior is to customize the resolution logic for the parameter. So route bind link, for example, here add a global condition for workspace ID. But such global conditions for all the project feels pretty dangerous to me because then in the future another developer would want to use route model binding which would be working not in the way they would expect. So yeah, there's nothing in the doc. So it seems that with route model binding, we're kind of forced to check the additional conditions like workspace ID or user ID in case of multi-tenancy manually each time for each record and do not use route model binding. So in this case, my first idea was that this project has repeating logic, which could be offloaded or customized to not be repeated, but actually it's pretty readable and there's nothing really wrong here. However, there is one alternative to not make that check in the controller. Instead, we can use policies. So if we execute artisan command to create the policy with specific model, we would have a policy class generated. And here would be the two methods that we would use. And then the logic of whether person can update or delete those links is in the policies, not in the controllers anymore. So it would be possible to not use these lines and put the link in the route model binding. However, by default, policy would have different behavior. In this case, we have first or fail, which in case of failure would return 404 status code, not found page. And policies by default, if they return false, they return 403, that you don't have permission, unauthorized. But you can customize that in policy. Let me show you how. Here's the updated code. Instead of just returning true or false, you have a ternary operator, allow in case of true and in case of false there's a method deny as not found here's the page in the official docs policy responses in those methods you may customize either response deny with custom message or as i mentioned customize the http response status deny with status 404 or deny as not found the logic for doing that is the security. So if you return 403, it means for the person that the record exists, you just don't have access to that. So that would be additionally valuable information for potential hackers that that record actually exists in the database. But if you return 404, then they wouldn't even know if that record doesn't exist or they don't have permissions. So from security point of view, in some cases, returning 404 from policies may be a valuable option if you choose to do that. Now back to you guys, would you implement the same thing as in the original open source project or would you choose policies or do you know of some other way that I haven't mentioned in this video? I really like to be taught. As I mentioned on Twitter some time ago in the comments on YouTube, I have two groups of people, the ones who learn from me and thank me for that. And we have some discussions and the other group are those who are actually teaching me how to do something even better or something I forgot or something I've missed. I equally love both of you guys in the comments. So let's discuss. Subscribe to the channel to get more videos and see you guys in other videos.